this is the first video in a series that's going to show you how to make a game um, for catching falling fruit. Um, I've started a new Scratch document, I've just got rid of Scratch the Cat, and with the stage selected, I'll just go to Backgrounds and very quickly import a background. There we go. Um, now, what I want to next is a sprite that's going to act as my catching sprite. The one that moves left and right and actually catches the fruit and scores points. You could create your own, but just to be quick, I'm going to choose one from File. I'm in People here, so let's have... Let's have the boy walking. There we go. Now he's a bit big, um, so I'm going to use my shrink sprite tool and click on him just to make him about the right size. And there's no option to go back to your arrow tool, so what you do is just click anywhere else. And I'm going to drag him down here and put him where I want to start the game. And then I'm going to start writing some scripts for him. So the first script I'm going to write is going to return him to that position at the start of every game. When the green flag is clicked, motion, go to, and it will detect where he actually is on the stage. So that's about right. Smack bang in the middle. There we go. Go to that. The next script I'm going to write is going to move him left and right with the arrow keys. So again, control when the green flag is clicked, forever, and nest an if inside that as well. So forever if sensing this time we want to detect whether a key's been pressed so if the right arrow has been pressed back to motion point in direction and move I'm going to change that to five steps because ten's a bit quick point in direction obviously choose the direction that corresponds to the arrow key you've chosen so right I'll just right click and duplicate that and we'll change that to left arrow and change the direction to left so, as you can see, if I move my character up here, my sprite, if I click the green flag, this script will return him to the middle. And I shall be able to press the arrow keys to move him right and to move him left. Now, have you spotted the deliberate error? To stop him turning upside down, I'll change from can rotate to only face left and right. And now, he'll only face left and right. The other tweaks you can make, you can change this move number of steps to make them faster or slower, um, but you'd have to change it in every script. So get your background and your sprite, your catcher sprite set up. The one thing I haven't done up here is renamed him. I'm going to call him catcher. There we go. And then move on to the next video.